Hey guys, so we left off with our collision class, or sorry, collision function in our ball class, and uh, we're going to finish up our classes in this episode. Sorry, I thought we would do it last time, but I ran out of time. But now I can upload longer videos, so that's cool. So uh, we have, we're going to put a, make our reset ball class, or function. And, um, yeah. So anyways, um, this is pretty much going to be called once the game is over. And it's going to reset, or sorry, not when the game is over, but whenever you score a point. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to reset the location and, uh, all that good stuff. So it's going to reset it back to the middle, as well as the, um, the height. The expel is going to be back equal to base velocity as well as the y. And um, it's going to be alive once again. Now we're going to have different um, um, attributes depending on who scored. So if um, the last score was player one, then the base velocity is going to be equal to positive 8. Red is going to be equal to 255 because if the first player won, then it's going to resemble their color, which is um, red. I guess? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And um, so, I'll see. Last score is equal to two. Then um, plus eight, and this is going to be equal to um to green, not F. Gosh, <laughs> yeah, that sums that up. So I believe our classes are now completed, and now we just gotta string everything together, so, um, nothing has really changed if we were to run it, so, um, yeah. Okay, so let's throw down, we're gonna need a, a score, and this is going to be what score you want the, the score to reach until somebody wins, that's what that is gonna resemble. <clears throat> and um we will need we need a couple more um booleans. We need a redraw which will tell us essentially when to draw. And uh a game over which is gonna be false because the game is currently not over. And also winner which um We'll see what that is later. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So let's make bring in a font into Allegro. It's gonna be a pointer font. Okay. And um lava dogs good. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let's uh include our our uh pretty much all of our classes. Level player ball. Good. good. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, let's go into Okay. Let's go into our while loop. So this is going to be at the end of flipping clear. Now we need um an event. We need to start an event, so we're just going to name it EV. And now we need to wait for the event. And it's uh, named as so. So Allegro wait for event. And uh, that's what we're going to send the event to. And EV. It's going to wait for something. For um, keyboard input in our situation. I'm 
just going to outline this, and then we'll fill in the stuff in a little bit. So, redraw inside of here is going to be equal to true. So when the timer kind of, I guess, ticks in a sense, then it's going to, um, <clears throat> every time that happens, it's going to check this. Alright, sorry about that. Someone knocked on my door, and no one was there. So a little sketch it out right now, that's alright. Let's continue. <clears throat> so, if keys, or if keys up <clears throat> is, um, it's true, then we're going to do something. And, um, sorry, did we not declare those? No, we totally did. So that would make no sense. So we need an enumeration. Enum keys. We're just going to have WS for player 1. And you can set these to anything, it doesn't matter. And then um, up and down for player 2. And then spacebar for for uh, enter or whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we need um, some booleans for them as well. We're going to set them all to false right now. So, why do you have an error? Whoa! Okay, just was lagging. Okay, cool. So, and then if he's down, you could honestly just copy these. Save us some time. Whoa. And then, um, W, and then S. And then, um, I guess we're about to need space. And this is um, just a different way of going about it. Um, but it makes it easier to control if, um, if it's held down or released or if you wanted to continue to do something. I mean, Pong, it's not completely necessary, but um, just good to know. Yeah. Okay, so... Got that. Sorry. What 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 is this going for that? Cool. Yeah. Okay, so now we also we're gonna have an if game is not over. And this is where we're going to update and check for collision. Closure. And um, that's yeah, that's where we'll do that. Well, that was off and on. Okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, all right, sorry about that. This this if statement actually needs to go inside of here. Mess that up, and then we're gonna continue on to this with um. Well, we need to check if. The user clicks the little, the little X button, you know. So, my girl, display close. That's all that's doing. Then, in that case, we're just gonna set run equal to false, and then that way it doesn't crash when we try to exit. So if it's held down, then uh, we're going to have a switch statement. Um, normally I like to just use if else, but it looks a little cleaner for, I guess, 
teaching or whatever. I don't know. So if the escape key is pressed, then we want to exit. Cool. And then we also need a case. I mean, we need a case for every single key that we want to use. <clears throat> and so if W is pushed down, we're going to set our... Um, our enumeration or boolean to true and then we're gonna break I'm just gonna copy that I'm just gonna do this okay don't worry about that um, we have w s that that and space I don't know why it formats all crazy, but anyways, so we have W, S, up, <clears throat> down, and space, W, okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Pretty, pretty basic. Um, and now we uh, pretty much have to copy the exact same thing and test for if it's released. Allegro. Whoops. Event. Key down. Or sorry, up. If the key is up, not down. And then we're just going to copy this shove it in there and um, change all trues um, to false. False. Cool. Did I copy the empty? Boy, would I? I don't know. Okay. I think not. I think there should be another bracket there. Yeah. Okay. So that um, I'll include this episode. So that's pretty much the basics of keyboard input. For our game and um, yeah thanks for watching once again um, maybe give a thumbs up if you're feeling thrifty and yeah see you next episode bye